Meet Tony Lapari. First, I tried to draw them Mindy on Stefan. This was my first camera. And Jake Hart, three different artists who have managed to keep hope and their careers alive the past year against all odds. We've been very productive during this time, but you can't play out. I was very, very fortunate. It was really like God's timing. To me, it was a huge blessing. Each of their industries have taken a major hit, but inside the four walls of their New York City apartments, these artists have thought outside the box. The second verse is kind of addressed to God. They're all thriving having found a creative niche. So this is Airhead. And stronger connection with God during the pandemic. This gave us time where you can't play out. We made use of, of just all this time for writing. Known professionally as Rickshaw, Tony Lapari formed a band right before New York City went on lockdown. This is the last show the punk rap group performed together. And though the live music industry has plummeted and gigs have felt like a thing of the past, Rickshaw pushed forward. Because of this, we've actually written about an album's worth of material. Without this, maybe some of that material wouldn't exist, maybe all of it. It's obviously Joan of Arc. For cartoonists known as Mindy Indy, keeping her head down and her pencil to paper has worked. So this is Corona Monium NYC. In February That's, of 2020, um, Mindy took on two big projects, a sci-fi comic of her own and a series of children's books about the saints. We can really, you know, learn a lot from the saints and draw strength from them. This is him seeing the future. The pandemic allowed her to reconnect with her faith and focus on her talents without the rush. I do feel more connection in the quietness and the slowing down. Each role of film probably has so it's about two minutes. Like Tony and Mindy, Jake Hart also sees this crisis through a different lens. The pandemic really actually gave me the time to sit back, think about my next move, and then make the move. You can already see the kind of like brain. As a Catholic filmmaker, aspect. Jake's art is focused on a mystical view of faith. His most recent film was shot entirely during the pandemic with his collection of vintage cameras. The footage is grainy, but now he says the vision for his career is clear. Putting the films together in a collection, putting together a website, and you know, putting together a story and, and why why I was doing this and why I wanted to share these films. He was all into languages and like Latin. These artists couldn't be more different. Confronting loss. But what they have in common is trusting God's plan. Though they're not thankful for the pandemic, they've been able to focus on the good, the time it's given them to create. She's very inspiring. Jessica Easthope. Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.